So now it's time to draw lines in the canvas. And this is part three of the JavaScript Canvas API tutorial. And before I even continue on, I want to just show you one more thing here because with the inner width here, what we have here, you might have noticed this, that when I open up my console, refresh, and then I close it again, what happens? It doesn't read this unless I refresh again. What is really happening here is this inner width and the inner height has only been loaded once. So it loads only once. And this is why when on first load, it works. And then after that, it will not refer back. So don't worry about that. We can solve that eventually. But for now, let's focus on the shapes first. So what I want to do here now is to draw the lines. I'm going to explore how we can draw lines because right now we just did this kind of simple shape. But now it's time to really dive deeper into lines. And let's make a basic line first. So to make a line, we're going to make a we're going to use CTX because that's the command to indicate we're going to draw something. And then secondly, we're going to say begin path. And begin path is basically a way to start drawing something. But what it really does as well is to reset the state of the line or shape of the line or shape, meaning. If you would have another shape that has, for example, a color assigned to it, we want to make sure that this is being reset so we don't extract the color from a previous shape. And this becomes more important later on. So the next thing what we want to do here is start to create a line. So the first thing what we want to do here before we create a line is to make sure we have a color for the line. So I'm going to use here CTX. And I'm going to say here, stroke style. And this is very important because the stroke style it's very similar to the fill style, except now we're going to create a stroke. And let me explain why they call this a stroke. Well, basically a stroke is considered a line. and But you have to think with canvas, a canvas in itself is like a painting. It's like a blank painting ready to be painted on. And when you use a brush or a paintbrush, and you make a line with your paintbrush, we call it a brush stroke. And this stroke here is basically a line. So a line with your paintbrush is a brush stroke. So that's why a stroke style indicates we're going to make a line on canvas itself. So what we're going to do here, first of all, is going to give a color. And in this case, I will use again the common color I use, RGBA. And then we're going to say here, 255, comma, 26, comma, 04, number one. All right. So once we have that, next thing what I want to do is to indicate the position of the line. So basically, if we have this line, where would we like to start drawing this? And this is very important. So for this, we're going to use the following command, CTX. Again, we're going to get a command of drawing. Then we say move to. Basically, what we're going to say now, is we're going to move to the official starting point of our item. And this is based on an X and Y coordinates. And basically, if we're talking about X and Y coordinates, X would basically be the horizontal, the horizontal, and Y is the vertical. And then here, we're going to work with pixels. So we're going to indicate them in pixels amount. So what that really means is the following. Let's say if you want, and let's refresh this again, all right? If you want to put it somewhere here in the center, we can check how big our position is. Let's click on this. And you can see here, well, probably... It's more bigger than this, I realize. So we have to maybe move that down. All right. So we can get here the height and the width. So right now, the width would be 1114. And the height, well, we have to calculate that. So let's do here. I'll just say here, the X width is 1114. And then now let's move this back to the side here and check what is the official height. And the height here is 600. 93 pixels all right so we're going to say here the y height make sure you spell it correctly 693 pixels so what we can do here is to grab this divide by two to put it in the center if you want to have in the center so let's remove that again all right so we're going to say here this will be that and we can just divide this by two for now and next we're going to get this one and then divide this by two as well. So basically we're going to get our starting point in the center here. So once we have this, the next thing what we want to do now is start to 
draw the line itself, or not even draw the line, then because basically this is the starting point, that would mean that's a dot. So how can we then move the line maybe, let's say, 50 pixels to the right? Well, to do that, remember this was the x and this is the y coordinates, and the x stands for left to right. So what we're going to do here is ctx, and then we say here, line 2. When we have this, we can say here whatever the value would be, and we can even do a console log just to check what the, what the value is, console.log. I want to grab this. And let's comment this out for now. Refresh, open the developer tab just to look at the official value that is 557. So, what I do here is 557 plus 50, that will be eventually the value. So, that would mean that we want to move this to 50 pixels, that will be 607, comma, and then here again, x and y value. Basically, here again, the x and y value, and uh, this would be. If we don't want to move this one, I'll just keep this one here and you can do that. And what I want to do here is just to look what's the official value. This is the value here, 346.5. All right. So then what I want is basically we can just clear up, put it in here. That's the official value. So if I save this now, move that, nothing happens. And the reason why nothing happens is we didn't draw the line yet. We can put here a semicolon that would be, of course, very organized. And next, what we need to do now is to say we want to draw it. Because right now, we just only have the line and you have the official coordinates where to start and where to end. So to draw now, we're going to say ctx dot, let me say here, stroke, to confirm that this is the line we want to draw. If I save this now, refresh, we have this line here, and this is 50 pixels. So what we could do here is maybe to make it a bit more visible. What I want to do here, I'm going to just remove all of this. And the same here. Let's remove that. And then what I'm going to do here is just here above, I'm going to say here CTX. And we say here line width. This will increase the thickness of the line by X amount of pixels. Well, let's say here 10. Save this. Refresh. And now we have a nice thick line here. Beautiful. And with this, we can start to do more and more things.